In today's very short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add an account to your Ledger Live platform, the desktop version. This will work if you have a Ledger Nano X or a Ledger Nano S. I'm not sure about any other uh, Ledger Nanos, but that is what I'm going to be covering in this video. I have a Ledger Nano X. Uh, now let's get right into this. As soon as you open the Ledger Live platform on your desktop, it will bring you to the portfolio tab. Uh, you can see the menu on the left. What you need to do is come down to the accounts tab and it will show you the accounts that you have available. If you don't have any accounts created, this place will be empty. Now you need to either come to this add account button here or come down to this add account button here. And then you'll be prompted through a pop-up to select or choose a crypto asset. Let's select Polkadot. Right, we want to add Polkadot, a Polkadot account to our Ledger Live platform. So you click continue. You need to connect and unlock your device. I have my device connected here. What I'm going to do is uh, enter my pin. And now that I've connected, you can see that it's checking app deficiencies. And then I'll need to allow Ledger Manager on my actual device. As you can see, I don't know if you can see right here, but I'll need to press these two buttons in order to allow Ledger Manager on my device. Boom, now the app is being installed onto my Ledger Nano X and also the Ledger Live platform as well. Boom, that's complete. So now I'm supposed to open uh, the Polkadot app on my device. Uh, you probably won't see that, but the words should appear on the screen on your Ledger Nano X. So you click both buttons simultaneously as you've been prompted on your Ledger Live desktop uh, software. And now it's synchronizing. So it's synchronizing uh, my Ledger Live to the Polkadot blockchain, right? And the synchronization process has been complete. And all I need to do is click add account on the screen. So I click that account added successfully. You can add other accounts or return to portfolio. And that is how simple it is. As you can see, it has popped up here. One thing you need to know is that if you're using the Ledger Live desktop version and the mobile version as well, making this change, adding this account to your Ledger Live desktop version does not automatically translate on your mobile version. So what you will need to do is export this account to your mobile version. And we cover that in the video talking about how to connect your Ledger Nano X to your Ledger Live mobile device. You can go ahead and check that out in the description as well. Until next time.